Hey, this is Bill Wynn with the CryptocurrencyGroup.com and what we're going to do in this video is take a look at, was watching Shark Tank, recommend this show very strongly to entrepreneurs. Now what we were going to do in this video was we we're going to go and install the Pro Currency Wallet. Now I am working on a Windows 10 machine and what we're going to do is go to the coin website here procommerce.io and we see right here this option for two different wallets okay and there will be a third option for Mac soon but at this point what we want to do is we want to download this Windows app and here you see it's downloading right away. Now, uh, I'm, I'm also using Google Chrome. Some people may want to use Internet Explorer, the new Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Opera, Navigator, AOL. Uh, I definitely recommend not using AOL for anything because it's quite antiquated and full of bugs. But uh, here we see that this is downloading. And now if you have also maybe you had some kind of a warning come up about downloading uh, this software, you just want to look for the option to approve it or to make it a trusted website or a trusted app. There's a, an excessive amount of security now. Well, it's not excessive if you're going to go to bad websites, but uh, if you're going to just do regular business with reputable companies and visit reputable websites. You won't have any issues. But anyway, so if you have a security issue come up, maybe you have Norton running, maybe you have um, some kind of antivirus, Kapersky, any of those, then you uh, they may actually throw up a flag and you'll just have to tell them that this is okay or in some cases I have found that it's even good to turn that off while you're installing this. So as soon as this is done we'll be right back. Okay so we finished downloading this file and right here we can go ahead and just put show and folder and uh, this is our download directory you can see the pathway and so here you'll see this little zipped file, right, which means it's a zipped folder or a compressed folder, meaning there's multiple files that have been run through special software to put them into one. What I'm going to do with this folder now, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Extract All, okay? So I right clicked and this menu came up and I'm going to go extract all and you'll see here it says these files are going to be extracted to this folder. Now you can choose where you want to put it. Um, what I'm going to do here, why don't we just um, take all this off and so we're creating a folder in this directory downloads slash pro currency and let's, I'm going to put just wallet, okay? So this is going to create a folder in the downloads and it's going to put all of those files from the compressed file in it. So here I hit extract and we see the process of the computer taking care of that. So now here again we're in the downloads and we see the folder here. So remember we took this compressed folder we extracted those files and we put them in here. So now when you normally go in here, it's so now what we do is we're going to go inside this folder, okay? So I'm going to double click and open it. It looks like there's another folder in there. And what we're going to do, all these different file extensions, this file right here, this procurrency-qt is the actual application normally you'll see like dot exe exec executable file so what we're gonna do to make things simple is you can even take that and you can drag it down here to your taskbar see that 
how it stays there. If I right click, I can take it off the taskbar. Um, but this way, if I want to go to my wallet, there it is. You could also right click and go to this send to. Now remember, in this video, you can pause it at any time. You can rewind. You can play again. Um, but you might want to pause, try to do uh, the last step I shared, and then uh, go from there. So I here I put it on the taskbar, but I can also send to the desktop. Okay. And now, if I was to minimize all of those windows, we see here Pro Currency Shortcut right here on the desktop. Okay. So now I have it in my taskbar and I've got it on my desktop. Now you can delete these. These are just shortcuts to the actual program. Okay. So now that I have the program installed and I've made it easy to access that program through these shortcuts, let's go ahead and click on one of these shortcuts. So here it says Windows protected your PC. Okay. I had mentioned this earlier. So here we see this is Windows Defender Smart Screen protecting me from ProCurrency. So if I select don't run, it's not going to run. So what I want to do is I actually want to go here to this more info. All right. And here, after I click that more info, it says, well, here's the file that you are asking us to execute on your behalf. And here's the publisher. But what we want to do is we want to click run anyways because we trust the guys behind Pro Currency. So here we see the um, uh, software opening. Now here we get another security alert. Windows security alert. Windows firewall has blocked some features of this app. Okay. So what we want to do is, is I'm just going to read through this here. This app is trying to receive information from the internet, meaning the, the software itself is contacting a server and requesting information from that server. It's just like when you run an update on your computer. It, it contacts the Microsoft server, or attacks the Adobe server, whatever software. So here we're going to put allow the pro currency to communicate on these networks. Okay. So what we're saying is it's okay for this application to communicate with other servers. Now this is good security because if you were with some kind of a uh, software that was trying to hijack your computer, you'd be able to stop it. But in this case, we want to allow. So I'm going to put allow access. And if you saw, there was a red text there. If you go back in the video slightly, you'll see it says out of sync. Well, now we're okay because we're allowing the software to communicate with the server. Okay. So now that we have it installed, we need to get it up and running. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through these different settings like the file. And here you can see that you can back up your wallet. Okay. It's really key to be keeping track of your wallet, backing it up. And I would definitely recommend that you back it up onto either a thumb drive, right? A little flash drive where you stick that in your computer or backing it up. Uh, you can even email that file to yourself and then keep it in your email, maybe a folder on Gmail. Um, if you use any backup to cloud type resources, that would be good. I use the Google Drive. Um, that way, you're backing it up, and it's something you should do, you know, every day if you're doing a lot of transaction. But you definitely want to um, back it up. So let's go ahead and run that. Back up the wallet, and so what it's saying is, okay, where do you want me to save it? Well, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and save it on the desktop here, and I'm going to name this. I'll, I'm going to put the date in. So I like to do 2017. 0427. Okay. Actually, why don't we preface that by 
I'm going to use the ticker Pro C 2017 0427 and I'm going to click Save. Let's go ahead and go to our desktop and there we see it's a DAT file. It's just a, a little database file that holds the data so when it's imported back into the software if your computer crashed or somehow your wallet crashed you'll be able to import this file back into your wallet okay so this sign message and verify message is when you're going to be doing transactions sending money out getting money in so we're going to skip those right now and do another video on those but let's go through some of these settings here you can encrypt your wallet so with this you want to make sure you use some kind of a good um, passphrase and I definitely recommend uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Make sure it's not something like password one, two, three. <laughs> you don't want to get hacked and you don't want all your pro coins stolen. Okay, so here it says if you encrypt your client and lose your passphrase, you will lose all your coins. <laughs> Are you sure you want to encrypt your wallet? this is so important make sure you do not lose the passphrase if you believe that you could lose it then don't encrypt it um, but here again this is a passphrase write it down put it you know email it to yourself so you have it in your email account put a file on a cloud drive put it on a thumb drive tattoo it on your forehead <laughs> well maybe your cheeks one of them one of all four but uh, regardless what it is just make sure you don't lose it okay at this point because we're just kind of on the fly I'm gonna skip that for now um, but uh, you can go ahead and encrypt it certainly a good idea here you have uh, key management and you're going to learn over time that this is going to be used to again um, request money uh, send money in and out keys are like um, signatures for transactions and then uh, let's take a look at the options here so what we see here is uh, if you if you check this it's going to start this wallet as soon as you log into your computer uh, you can detach databases at shutdown to again protect from being hacked. Um, here you see that you can uh, include a transaction fee and it, it recommends that you put in a fee of uh, 0 0.01. So let's go ahead and just do that. 0 0.01. Okay. And, uh, and that would be in uh, pro currency at this point we're going to leave this staking at zero honestly I don't understand that and we'll have to learn this together and then there's some other very technical settings here uh, involving this wallet and I'm sure we're going to get uh, a lot more information on this so at this point I did make one change to that transaction fee so here you see the apply button to make sure this is applied to the software so that it takes effect okay and we see that it was okay and so um, here you'll be able to search for transactions and here in the help button it, uh, there's some information here about pro currency and actually you see here uh, a, a number of coins that have been um, involved it's pretty cool and then we also have about QT so this is the software that's um, being used for the wallet if you really wanna be a real nerd and read all that and so at that we'll leave it but um, here you can see where you're gonna be able to send uh, someone's going to give you a pro C address you put the address in here you'll be able to label it um, put in like a little description and then how much pro you want to send to that address right um, on the flip side you'll also be able to accept 
Pro, and this is going to show you uh, how to do that. It looks like here's my address for my wallet, and I'll be able to say, okay, if you want to send 1000 Pro, then uh, just send it to that address. And I'm blurring these out for security. And of course, this is going to be a detailed list of transactions. And here's the address book where you can keep you know, people that you uh, do business with regularly. So for example, when you put this label, you might want to put on the label Richard Marks, right? And uh, then when I have my transactions come, it'll show Richard Marks. And I can also add Richard to my address book here so that there's always something going in and out. And I can keep track of that. Okay, so there's installing it. Someone asked about the out of sync well, we saw that when we connected it to the server by allowing this um, computer and the software to communicate with the server, that went away. And here's a little bit about the wallet. We'll be coming back with some more detailed information about all of those technical settings in the wallet at a later date. Like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel so we can keep you up to date.